As millions of Americans lose their jobs due to the pandemic, pyramid schemes and some multi-level marketing companies are using the crisis to profit, preying on people desperate to make money fast. Before I continue, let me quickly go over two terms that will help you better understand what's going on. First, pyramid scheme. Usually framed as a business opportunity, these illegal get-rich-quick schemes ask you to pay money up front and recruit people to join the scheme so you can get your big payout. Some have products attached, like this one from Michael Scott. So, Phil recruited me to sell these cards, and now I am recruiting you. It sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. Second, multi-level marketing companies. Also known as MLMs or direct selling, they sell products through person-to-person -person sales without physical storefronts. But unlike pyramid schemes, many MLMs are actually legal because distributors make money from selling products and not just from recruiting people. They're known for flashy conferences and promo videos full of big promises. I want each and every one of you sitting in this arena to know you have exactly what it takes to build this business as big as you want to build it. Since the pandemic, there's been a sharp increase in recruitment activity from both pyramid schemes and multi-level marketing companies. And while some MLMs are legitimate business opportunities, pyramid schemes definitely are not. In times of financial crisis, we certainly do see a lot of work from home scams. If people are losing their jobs or are struggling financially, that's something that we see flourish. One pyramid scheme making the rounds on social media is called the Blessing Loom. It's unclear where it originated from, but anyone can start one. Here's how it works. To join a Blessing Loom or circle, you must pay $100 to the person in the middle of the circle. Once seven other people join the outside and pay $100 to the person at the center, that person gets $800 and leaves the circle. And then once it fills up, that person's gone, splits in half, and you do it again, again. You do it again and again, recruit more people on the outside until you're the person in the middle. Get your $800 and walk away. If it sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. It may not look like a pyramid, but that's only because you're looking at it from a bird's eye view. The Better Business Bureau issued a scam alert for the scheme in May. For Marco Cavazzo, who lives in Texas, the Blessing Loom didn't look like a pyramid scheme. He joined one in March with the hopes of making a quick $800. And then it just died right at the split. And after that, like nobody brought in anybody at all. So it was like, oh, there goes my hundred bucks. <laughs> As the pandemic unraveled in March, Leticia Mercado, a single mother, was quickly laid off from each of her three part-time jobs. Sí, me siento muy preocupada por lo que está pasando. Days later, she was convinced God heard her prayers. A man she briefly interacted with when she bought life insurance years ago contacted her about a job with an MLM via Facebook, out of the blue. <laughs> The man told her she could make at least $80,000 this year if she worked hard. Convinced, Quesada paid an initial $300, took the test, attended a meeting, and that's when things didn't seem right. Empezaron a regañar a todos en una primera en la primera junta que tienen que traer gente. Leticia tiene que traer tres personas y si luego esas tres personas tienen que traer otras tres y otras tres y ya fue cuando me analicé. Oh, es una pirámide que hice. El mercado seemingly perfectly timed opportunity is not uncommon. An administrator for the anti MLM Facebook group sounds like MLM but okay, which is dedicated to spotting sketchy MLMs says the group has seen a 22% spike in posts regarding questionable recruitment activity from MLM distributors, like posts touting the ability to earn four figures in five days or saying their business is pandemic proof. In April, things got bad enough, the Federal Trade Commission had to send warning letters to 10 companies demanding they stop using the pandemic to make false product and earnings claims giving them 48 hours to respond with what they would do to stop the behavior. The FTC was referring to specific social media posts that said things like, Want to join me in drinking this product to combat the coronavirus? Contact me to learn how to be your own coronavirus superhero. And because of this company, her family's income isn't impacted by COVID-19, 
learn how you can start working from home and earning $500 a month. The companies implicated in the FTC letters have since deleted some misleading posts and reminded distributors not to make unsubstantiated claims. Any claim you make has to be um, substantiated and cannot be false or deceptive or misleading. Remember this video? We found it on YouTube. Some anti-MLM advocates worry the claims in the video are deceptive and overselling the business opportunity. We reached out to Arbon, the company mentioned in the video, to get their response to criticism that the claims are deceptive. They said the video was posted several years ago by an independent consultant and that the company does not condone deceptive posts. They also said the video had been removed by the user. We reached out to the person in the video but did not hear back. If it's difficult to police what claims the 6.2 million people who participate in MLMs in the US are making on a public forum like YouTube, imagine how hard it is to monitor what they're saying via private messages. And you can bet many aren't disclosing that most people in MLMs don't make $500 a year, let alone $500 a month. So some firms release data um, in the form of what are called income disclosures. And so not all firms do and they're not required to but uh, they do put out income disclosures, some of them that show the outcomes of participants. Stacy Bosley is an economist at Hamline University. She studied pyramid schemes and MLMs extensively. And I don't know that I've seen one yet that shows anything other than a majority of people on balance after expenses losing money. In fact, 74% of people who join MLMs report making no money or losing money once they factor in how much they spend on inventory, according to a 2018 study from the AARP Foundation. And two-thirds of them said knowing what they know now, they wouldn't join an MLM again. It's sold often as sort of a secure, proven pathway to higher levels of income without any entry requirements, without any specific education or prior experience. And during times of crises, the promises these companies make seem to get bigger and shinier. Robert Fitzpatrick is the author of False Profits, a book about MLMs and pyramid schemes. And he runs PyramidSchemeAlert.org, the first consumer organization to confront the abuses and trickery of pyramid scheme perpetrators, according to the organization's website. But most of them, even whether they have products that are health related or not, argue that they have a business model that is perfect for this time in which we're all sequestered in our homes. Unfortunately, from what I've seen, a lot of the training suggests that you should really look to match the need of the moment with your opportunity. Uh, there's a lot of sort of saying, look, we can be the alternative economic engine. There's a degree of magical thinking to that. Their demand for some of these products shouldn't be exploding. That's not how economics work, right? Joe Mariano is the president and CEO of the Direct Selling Association, or DSA the trade organization that represents more than 100 MLMs in the US. He says he's glad the FTC called out the companies it did, three of which are members of the DSA. I was disappointed that the FTC had to send such letters out, but frankly, not surprised. We've got literally millions of people who sell on a casual basis. So you have a wide collection of people with varying degrees of experience, professionalism, enthusiasm, and even at some points, you might have small percentages of people who do the wrong thing. He says that's why the Better Business Bureau has a third-party self-regulatory council that scours the web for misleading claims. We have to be very clear that most people don't make a lot of money. This is a part-time activity for most people. It's supplemental income and just to help you pay the, the bills, you know. Mariano disputes the AARP survey that says most people are making no money or losing money with MLMs. He says the survey doesn't take into account all the people who join MLMs, perhaps for a discount on a product, but never with the intention to really sell. He says earnings are higher than the AARP survey suggests too. According to a 2018 survey from the DSA, direct sellers make an average of $5,702 a year and 84% of sellers are doing it on a part-time basis, less than 30 hours a week. We did the math and that averages out to about $3.78 an hour if you work 29 hours a week and $7.31 an hour if you work 15 hours a week. For context, the federal minimum wage is $7.25. I asked Mariano whether recruiting recently laid off workers to take a job in which they're likely to make little money, no money, or lose money is predatory. It's not predatory, in fact, it's an opportunity. But in offering that opportunity, 
We have a special obligation to make sure that we're laying it out accurately. We applaud the FTC for what they've done. And the vast, vast majority of people are out there doing it correctly. But I'm never going to apologize, I tell you. I'm never going to apologize for an individual out there who's enthusiastic about the product that they're selling, as long as they're realistic. So at this point, you may be wondering, how do I tell if an opportunity is a pyramid scheme, a bad actor MLM, or a legitimate MLM? There are some things you can look out for. Number one, the recruiter is asking for money up front. It's an unsolicited invitation, and there are extravagant earnings promises. There's a big emphasis on recruitment. There's a low barrier of entry. And finally, the recruiter is playing on your emotions. And keep this in mind. These fraudulent offers won't end when the pandemic does. Scammers are excellent at following the headlines, whether it's the, the health crisis, the financial crisis, you know, the checks that are going to be coming out to some people, um, et cetera, et cetera. There will be a flourishing of scams related to each of those topics. People should be on high alert for that. How about you, though? Have you come across any pyramid schemes or potentially bad actor MLMs online? Let us know in the comments.